Hi, I'm Fox. Couch Guy. You're watching the Two Smart Guys show where we bring you the latest tech news and mods and fun little things that we find interesting. Stuff. Stuff. We like stuff. Yeah. Um, so this week, uh, there was a big Apple announcement, which we'll get into later. But I first wanted to talk about um, Philip Bloom did a review of the Note 3, which is the phablet that apparently can shoot 4K video on a cell That's phone. That's insane. <laughs> it's, um, it's interesting. It, it shoots it at least, he's, he only had 15 minutes with it, he said. But he made a little short video when he posted it, and it looked pretty good. It wasn't. It was. It, it's like a race to see how fast you can fill your hard drive. Well, kind of. That's the problem. It's only forty-eight um, megabit stream. H two six four. So they're cramming four K into something that usually isn't very acceptable for even stand or full HD. So it's heavily compressed. He was saying gotcha. he couldn't work with it. Like he, he was trying to do some color correction and, you know, balance it's just it out. Unworkable. Yeah. He said he couldn't touch it. He's like, as soon as he started playing with it, it fell apart. So. Well, and that's to be expected. It's a freaking cell phone. <laughs> it is a cell phone. I mean, that, that's, that's the point. But it's just interesting, you know, that they've got these cell phones that are doing stuff that. You know, Red was promising for three thousand dollars years ago, and now you can get it in a cell phone that costs five hundred bucks. Well, you have to understand that <laughs> democratization of size and everything else happens once the technology has been, once that barrier has been broken. We have since passed our token eighteen-month barrier, not once, not twice, but three times since that lovely announcement. So, therefore. We should have 4K available, and hence we do. But what do you watch it on? <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's not about it's, technology increases. It's not about what's usability. It's about what's there. We've hit the you know we've hit the 4K limit. We know that 4K is possible. We do it. It's just the fact that now there's a quality complaint. Well, of course there's a quality complaint. They're trying to shove 4K into a cell phone. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? It's, it's do a terabyte an hour. On a cell phone? What, what about an hour? <laughs> a terabyte an hour. That's about what the 4K runs. Oh, a terabyte an hour? If it's done that's, properly. Now, <laughs> when, it's done, when it's done at the production level. So when you think about that's the... And that that's actually a moderate size. That's not even like completely rawed out. As far as I can tell. There's, you can get larger. Oh, yeah. So a terabyte an hour at moderate sizes, and we're talking about a cell phone. Mm -hmm. So let's just say we do 20 gigs an hour. That's a significant compression ratio. Yes. That's a larger compression ratio than the worst MP3 ever undergoes. I, I think they're talking like, oh, what is that bit rate at? That bit rate's like... That's like a four. Uh, 48, uh, what is it? That's like, uh, well, it's just a little bit more than my camera or my Sony cameras. That's like 20 or 30 megabits per hour, megabits per second. Yeah, so on a, on a 8 gig card, you get a half hour. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, and, you know, that would be, that'd be about 20 megabits per second, 18 megabits per second. Yeah. Which is roughly what we consider nasty for HD. Yeah. That's an A.264 compression, pretty ramped up. It's and interesting though because it because it is an Android. Sand Engine Mod's going to probably come out, and people will um, will have fun with it. But he noted that like um, when it shoots in 4K mode, they sh they turn off all the stabilization and all the stuff that makes the crappy cell phone sensor, you know, nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyways, 4K. So yeah, 4K on a cell phone. The pixels are technically there, but the data rate's still not. So it's still the same amount of information, even though there's more pixels. It's yeah. Just, where is it? Is it in? Is if there's not as much motion, it probably looks pretty good because it can use that that information on the still image. You know, things aren't moving. 
But if you got fast action going on on a four on a four K cell phone, it's gonna look yeah, it's gonna look bad. <laughs> well, I, I'm having a hard time just gris, gripping. You know, I uh, you know I completely understand. Like, oh look, four K is cool, but a cell phone, really? Yeah. Like right now? Like, is it just? I really think this is just a race to say, oh look, we're the first. Yeah, and that's yeah. it. Well, and one of the things that Philip Bloom had mentioned is the the 120 frames per second on his on the iPhone was more useful to him right now because it's fun because he can play with slow mo yeah. and stuff and it's like 4K is a pain especially when it's got all these limitations at the moment on a cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like speaking of limitations of 4K, you need a beast to edit it and that's what you know apple's got this little toaster that's gonna cost four grand is that the jet engine yeah the jet engine well three grand for the for the quad core or you can get the the six core for four grand in december nice. it is the coolest idea but i you know i like <laughs> it's an interesting design I want to make one so bad. I'm trying to figure out how to make a Hackintosh that way. Because you could get a small motherboard, an ITX one, and a graphics card, and then put your hard drive on the other side so you could have the triangle. And then you get like a blender or something and paint it black. <laughs> Stuff it in there. <laughs> you just want to get the look of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, because it would be the same concept because we'd still put a fan in it and a huge-ass heat sink of some kind in the center of it. So you just got one big fan and a huge heat sink that pushes it all out. And it'd be fairly small. And yeah, you're going to try and make it look like it. <sighs> or a trash can. You know, the, the silver trash cans. <laughs> At this point, I think you should just go completely farcical. <laughs> and do a water-cooled pony keg. Pony and keg. Use, or, or a real keg. <laughs> and just use the, the cold, you know, use that steel container but implement water cooling around the edges with the fan in the center you know and just get a nice noisy fan uh, or whistle on top yeah sure <laughs> why not um what else was the big news oh so they announced new ipad air which is just a little bit slimmer ipad with the processors and stuff of the iPhone 4S. They finally came out with the Retina Mini, which is interesting because the first Mini was stupid. It was an iPad 2 that was smaller. Even though there was already an iPad 4, they came out with an iPad, a Mini iPad 2. Why would you want that? I mean, I don't know. I guess because it was cheaper, but it didn't make sense. This makes sense. It's actually the same as the new, bigger iPad, just a smaller version of it. I can. Gotcha. In fact, it's the exact same resolution. So you have a, an even higher um, dots per inch because it's the same res. Oh, okay. So that's kind of cool. But I probably won't get either one. <laughs> Cause sure about that? No. But oh, man. <laughs> because uh, I don't know. I mean, I use my iPad quite a bit, else. but. It, I don't know. The double speed processors, I just don't know if it's worth that much money. Because other than that, they're identical. And other than the look. Well, yeah. Well. And then somebody pointed out, like, are they even still making iPods anymore? Because they didn't announce it in either of these two big events. So I went and I looked on the webpage, and sure enough, they made they made new iPod touches. They're like they're colored oh, really? like the iPhone C. Oh, they're. They got yeah. They probably look like the original. Um, not the original. Remember the old iPad or iPod Mini, so it were different colors. Yeah, yeah. So they did. They made those. Maybe they did announce them, but it, it, it didn't stand out in the news. Well, no one cares anymore. Why do you need one? Your phones can play music. I mean, it's yeah. they are iPods, and they're all connected, yeah. so you don't have to keep everything on your phone. You can just stream it from wherever, or whatever. Or yeah, it's interesting how many different groups are trying to have this unified, like, oh, you can buy your stuff here, but we'll just stream it. We don't need to have you download it. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it is. Uh, that's probably the nice way to put it. Interesting. And, and it's, another another interesting, probably one of the more interesting things is they released a new version of Mac OS X Mavericks for free. Yeah, I've heard about that. And it's been advisable for my IT department not to download it yet. Um, because it breaks a bunch of software that we have integrated with our stuff. So oh, not probably. to say anything bad about it. I just I, I can't test it yet. Yeah. So I, I've got I put it on my um I put it on my Hackintosh weeks ago. Oh, but, did you? Uh, I put it on my real Mac because it, it was stu- the the developer version you could put on a Hackintosh, but you couldn't put it on a real Mac without a developer's account. Whatever. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I put okay. the real one on, and yeah, it broke a, a few things, but I was able to get them fixed. It wasn't a big deal. That's um, good. But the cool thing is, you can upgrade from all the way back to Snow Leopard for free. Really? So all those versions you can just skip and go straight to the latest one for free. Plus, they're also giving away. What's the catch? What's the catch? Yeah. They well, you have to have a sixty-four bit machine. Otherwise, it mm. won't work. <laughs> um, they just want everybody to be using the latest. OS that can you can buy apps on, right? Gotcha. Because they're probably making more money off the apps than they are the operating system anymore. But the interesting gray area is, I mean, it's probably the license agreement says no, but technically now you can make a Hackintosh for free. <laughs> I mean, the, the OS part of it's free. Okay, well that makes sense. There's no yeah. Cost to it anymore. You can just download. Yeah, but it. you can just download it. It doesn't. You don't have to have a current version, or you have to have a current version to download it. No. Well, you have to download it from a current version, and you have to sign into a, an iTunes account. I mean, an Apple account. You have to have an Apple account. Gotcha. But there's no cost to it anymore. So, like, I was upgrading a person's machine the other day, and I had to buy uh, Mountain Lion with my account because there's no other way to get it. You have to get it from gotcha. Apple stores, which I wish I would have waited a couple days now. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, well, what do you do? Yeah, it's interesting anyways. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that um, came out tech-wise. I've been kind of out of it. I've been busy. <laughs> anyways, post below. What do you think uh, is interesting about the Apple announcement? And, uh, you know, is 4K on a cell phone a good thing? Is it? Is it? Time? Yeah, really. It's 4K on <laughs> a cell phone. Let's all watch my cell phone. Anyways, uh, we do a new show every Wednesday night live on Justin TV, um, twosmartguys.com slash live, and uh, a weekly show here on YouTube. Please subscribe. I don't always look this good, so <laughs> sometimes I look like an Atari character. Yeah, if you caught the middle of the video, it was interesting. <laughs> so, most weeks I do look like an Atari character. Tonight was an exceptionally good download or upload you know, for my <laughs> internet. Maybe the rest of the world went to... Stopped using it for a while. <laughs> see you guys next week. Joe? This has been a Two Smart Guys show. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>